Hey folks, <laughs> it's me again. Um, it's another video. Man, I hope I keep you guys entertained with these films because um, sometimes I feel a little bit ashamed that I'm just like blasting two videos a day. It almost feels desperate, you know? <laughs> but it's because I got a lot to say. I got a lot to share and maybe there's not a whole lot of time left. So I might as well just like put out the things that anyways yeah I'm just gonna get right to the point because today um, okay so um, I've been praying to God to help me to like love the things he loves and to hate the things he hates and um, you know and, and not be in conflict with his way and one of the things I uh, I had some trouble with was um, popular praise music. I've always felt that they were a little cringy to me. And um, I mean, I used to kind of, I used to kind of like my music taste. You know, it was like, yeah, man. Like my music background was pretty whack. I mean, now relatively speaking, I suppose, because I was really into uh, all kinds of like melodic black metal, and that's all that's all occult referencing and I didn't really think that was very cool I thought like the satanic aspect was really <laughs> really stupid but I was really into the music at least the, the melody of it all and uh, so I prayed to God and I was like God you know like because he used to tell me like listen to praise start listening to praise music so I would try everything from like finding classical composers to try, you know, classical music because at least that isn't as, I'm not even going to use the word cringe, but you know, um, so, um, and then I said, hey God, you know, you can use your Holy Spirit to, to change my tastes. I've seen him do that before, like completely change the way I'm into something or not into something, you know? Like, for example, when I first converted, I had a little apprehension about going to church. And I felt, oh, I could just be a good Christian by myself. And I don't want to hang out with them. You know, kind of like all those yeah, church folks. But now, all I want to do is spend time with people that like go to church and speak about God. Like, And, I, and it's genuine. I really enjoy their company, you know. Um, I just really love pe other people's enthusiasm for God and I want to be around it, you know? So, but music came a little bit later and so I prayed to, uh, I prayed to God uh, and I said, hey God, maybe you can help me develop a taste for praise music. I just want to love what you love and if it makes you happy then awesome. I want to I want to be like that. I want to be I want to be out something that's good for you to see like a f sweet fragrance upon his throne. And so I prayed to God and I said, "Yeah, help me to love praise music." And then I started just playing like on YouTube like 2 hours of great praise songs. Bomb bomb. And I had found a couple songs that were really good, of course. There's this one by this girl. I don't know her name. But this video on the on the thumbnail on her video, she's like this. And she's got curly hair. Curly blonde hair. I think she's Australian. And she's singing that Upon Many Waters or something. Man, that song is awesome. She is an amazing singer. I really like that song. And then there's that song from Shane from Shane he is worthy you know like that one's great i really love that one um but there's many others that i wasn't really catching on to so quick so here's the thing um this is god's timing at work again and he's so involved with even you guys that are listening like like he wants me to make these videos and it's not about me at all it's not even about the fact that I experience these things it's about everyone it's about every one of you guys listening as well and looking and and the process of you guys reviewing what's happened in your life getting to know a bigger reality and 
and God working with your thoughts and everything and in your hearts. I can't even say what he's doing, but he must be doing something because there's, I had a dream earlier where I saw in a dream state, not, I ha these aren't normal dreams, you know, and I'd like to explain that in another video sometime that they're not normal dreams and these dreams are something totally different and they don't happen that often but when they do you know something else is going on God has put that in your awareness that it's not quote normal and um, um, yeah so I had I had this dream before that I heard an angel singing and I heard it with and I wasn't actually asleep at the time I was sort of in the mid sleep before I was falling asleep and that's the same time like the same week if not the same evening problem is I didn't write these things down and journal it and write down the date which I kind of regret now and but I still don't do that these days maybe I should maybe I should but then um, I heard in my inner ear my spirit ears for the first time an angel singing and it was the most sublime and beautiful sound and again I perceived it on the left side of my perception for some reason God's always used right or left forward backwards around me whatever spatial awareness he's always sort of played with in in my in the things that I will find out in the future he gives a little hint he says remember this and then uh, and then uh, I heard this angel beautiful angel make this music and at first he was singing in a classical way it sounded like old classical Renaissance music uh, in a big European church uh, or what do they call them I guess they're called churches right and the reverberation of his of his voice and my awareness of the space was that it was inside a church big stone European style you know and then you hear his voice and he sings uh, he's using specifically the word glory I believe it was glory yeah he's saying glory like a choir Ooh. it was a guy but then he can make his voice sound like a a lady choir like glory oh man it was beautiful beautiful and then you hear it not with your biological ears which can't pick up that fidelity so it's just rapturous it's sublime even just a few seconds of it and you know we're in for something very special we're in for something very 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 special our our body all the senses we get in through our five senses is like eating it's like eating an old cookie that's been stale and sitting outside for two weeks and then you eat it and you're like mm, best cookie in the world like no you haven't tasted the freshness you know and um, and then I hear him sing but it's not a, it's not a full song it's a, it's an angel trying to compose a new song and then it was in this time when when I was sort of I was still listening to a lot of metal and I was trying to use like music to, to sort of like you know kind of like digest the the issues I was going through just sort of sweating it out you know and then um, and some of the riffs I mean I know like there's nothing new under the sky and everything that's rad has been stolen from God you know and been turned around and perverted so then I thought is it the same with metal like is it the same with just astrakhan riffs you know is it really? And I thought it must be. Obviously, God's metal must be rather than that. It must be just uh, the edge of all edge, you know, the face melting riff of all face melting riffs. The the Mozartian uh, super composition that just like, and then you're just like, you know. Um, and I was sort of toying with that idea at the time. I was, I guess you can say, my form of sort of sloppy meditating upon. And then I heard that night that angel, and I thought, oh, classical music. They must love that from the Renaissance, you know? Obviously, you know, the, the, the demons ran the world at that time too, but there must have been some 
pious souls. You know, there must have been some really good, beautiful souls in that time too. Um, and then I heard, yeah, and, and the angel was sort of like, you could hear that it was holding like something in its hands and it, it kept like trying to write something. It would, it would like sing, holy, and then it would try to put together some kind of like tunes and then it would it would sort of think about did that sound good and he put and then he wrote something and then he puts a pen down i would hear i would hear him like put some kind of pen down and then he would try a new something and i swear it came to one point where it almost sounded like oh he's he's going for like modern riffs he's you know he's going for some some real metal here like and um and then he's like Mm -hmm. He starts computing, thinking how to like blend the two, and then he takes his pen and he puts it, little mark, and he puts it down, and then he goes, and then he finds some new melodies. Okay, and that's all I got to see. That's all God had for me. He's like, I'm gonna show you just a tiny bit, but this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be so awesome. It's gonna make. It's going to make um, spaceships explode, you know? <laughs> and uh, wow, I was just like, I got the serious goosebumps just from that little bit, you know? And then I kind of forgot about that dream. I did make a video. And, um, and guess what? This morning, like a while later, a good year now, because we're already in March, a year passes. And this night... Now, only a few months ago did I pray about, like, maybe not even a month ago. About a month ago, I prayed about love and praise music. And then God's like, okay. But in the mornings, in the weekends, he's like, play some praise. Play some praise music. So I leave it on. I have it playing in my house. Uh, my wife, uh, luckily, really likes praise music. She kind of grew up uh, with a lot of that around her. So that's cool. That means I don't have to sort of feel weird that I'm sort of force feeding her praise music and she's like yeah I love this stuff awesome great and um, and then um, yeah okay so I'm kind of getting a taste for this kind of kind of getting more you know last night this morning right before I wake up Sunday morning I got this other dream and it's a dream that I'm some the context and all that is sort of strange and bizarre but then somebody starts playing on the radio there's some praise music that goes off and it's modern praise and it might have been that it might have been it's one of the praise songs I remember that are pretty big in church and then I put my head down on the table and I'm listening to the song it's just vibing out to the radio and then I start humming I hum along <laughs> you know and uh, and as I'm humming I feel the Holy Spirit in my chest in my tummy in my dream get excited and it's like like just this just this joy I feel like I'm making God really happy I feel like he's getting very happy and then as uh, and then as I'm sort of humming a little bit more, I wake up and I usually sleep on my left side and I wake up on my left side and he's like, you remember that dream you had of um, that of the angel making a new song and it was on your left side of your mind's perception? It's because of this now that's happened. And I was like, wow, but I've had a lot of those and I kind of forgot, I, you know, I, strange enough. I mean, I don't deserve all this attention from God, all these, these things. I, I, uh, I love them and I really want more, but I don't, I don't, I don't show enough piety. I don't get on the floor. I don't use half a day to just like get super pious with God and just on the floor, like begging for forgiveness, you know? Um... It's just not good enough, you know? Um, and then um, uh, I make a video that I uploaded previously about different things. I don't even remember what it was now. 
Um, but then I wanted to add like an older video that I had in my links in my description. And you know, as I was scrolling through the things, I had forgotten about the 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 dream I had and God telling me that that dream was linked to an older video that I'd made. So I was scrolling through my old videos to find something to upload and I figured, oh, I wanted to upload the one that's like light streak in the sky while I was learning about the 144. For some reason the video caught. Um, but yeah, so I'm following up. Um, where was I? Yeah, so I'm scrolling through in the descriptions or no, I'm scrolling through my old videos to add a link in the description. And as I passed the video that I wanted to link in the description, God's like, no, 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 don't, don't take that one. I said, uh, oh, okay. And he said, keep going. Uh, okay. So then I find the one about the song, the music, hearing the angels sing. He's like, take that, take that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just took it. But I totally forgot about my dream this morning. And then he's like, put that in the description. Cool. All right. Cool. And and then uh, the day goes by, you know, and I'm kind of cleaning up the house and stuff. I try to like do no work on Saturdays. That's that's when I try to keep the Sabbath at least. So God, and this weekend I was like, oh, I gotta like clean the floor. I gotta I gotta mop the floor. And he's and I said, hey God, do you want me to mop? He's like, cool, mop the floor. And I said, is it cool if I mop the floor on Saturday? He's like, no, 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 this Saturday I want you to keep Sabbath. I want you to do it on a Sunday. Because sometimes he's like, okay, this Saturday you can do some work. I like the fact that you're trying. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And, you know, everything in this world's busted anyway. So, okay, you know. But then sometimes he'll be like, hey, what? try to keep the Sabbath today. Then I'm like, okay, yeah, uh, I'll, for sure. Thank you. Thanks for allowing me to, to do something nice for you. So... Um, so I mopped the floor today and today's Sunday and then when I was done uh, God's like this, this is very good keeping the good clean house is very good and I was like thanks and then he's like hey why don't you make another video and I said oh yeah sure you know and he's like I know what I know sometimes you want to make a video and I was like yeah these days I feel like uploading stuff um, and he's like and then I said, hey, can you tell me something that I should upload? And he's like, I'll show you something you should upload. And then he's like, talk about your dream. And also it correlates again with why I linked the, 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 the link with the angel singing previously. Uh, so if you guys are... That's one thing... Uh, God does... Um, God does definitely that that's one thing about the pineal is that you'll be more aware of those things like all the time it's the what it's the um hello God you know and then you gotta then you realize there's another guy screaming on the line too and it's Satan or, or, or some demon trying to like trying to just make the whole thing like get retarded um but uh, that's what I do I I use it often I tune in I say and and the line's all fuzzy, tons of noise. That's Satan and his demons, you know. Um, and then I gotta be like, God, I need a better connection. And even that, he showed me in the, my pre. And I'll have a link to that. There's a link in this description about how God said He will create a um, a telepathic link with us again. What looks like telepathy, me mental mind link, and you'll hear him much better. But it's contingent on the fact that somehow your pineal is back up and running. And I guess to some people, he can magically make it happen. He made Lazarus come back from the dead. And to other people, maybe he wants you to do it more physically by detoxing. But you'll have to ask him. You'll have to see where the volition of the Spirit takes you. And the thing is, when I had that dream, and you'll see it, there was a part where uh, where Satan shows up and Satan's making it quite clear that he won't he won't just leave that connection to be undisturbed. Um, and and I saw God working hard to stamp Satan out when that was happening. God has deliberately made it so that it is an effort for him to fight Satan's influence on us, but we effort with him. He has deliberately put it, you know, he doesn't just go to overpower mode every time. He has made this an effort for him. Maybe it's got to do with the cosmic battle. Lord fights for me, right? 
what is Lord fighting for me? It's not just him blasting from the top seat and saying, such it is, then it's not a fight, right? Um, God has shown me that there is a war and God has shown me that he has chosen to suffer in that war if he loses. That he doesn't win every time, but he pushes as hard as he can. And he's got, I think he's at a point where he can feel gruesome pain, you know? It's a choice. It's the refinement of the spirit. What do you fight for? You fight for the things that you love desperately. And I think those are the things that have to do with the fact that when you choose not to listen to certain things, when you choose not to listen to your guardian angel that's trying hard to t turn your eye to good things, when God sees that you don't want him, he doesn't want you anymore. There comes a point where he'll, he won't fight for you anymore. He won't try to get your attention anymore. Because the uh, like he's deliberately made it so that even this dumb this idiot called Satan can win once in a while. Obviously, right? Praise God. I think he's he, it, the beings that I saw, the beings that God have me see, they are they are ultra beings man they are insane they're insane and they were made for and they they're gonna fight until they get ripped up to shreds you know that means they're taking on some nasty beasts powerful enemies that are gonna fight until they're gone man it's they're not there to look pretty uh, God's might is not there in a, in a symbolic statement. He wears it and he puts it on and he eats suffering like anybody else does, if not a whole lot more. Jesus showed me that too. Jesus, in a dream, he showed me he went straight and he's, he's like, he looks at me and then he walks. And as he's walking, he's mentally telling me, look, Eric, I will gladly go right back on the cross in one second if if God asked me to do that again, I have no doubt, I don't have a single flood, I don't have a moment of hesitation. And I thought, that is crazy to like totally be, like not even parents can do that so easily. There is a certain point where, where even a parent to a baby, yeah, you'll jump in front of a bus because it's an instant death, but are you gonna just climb on a cross? I mean, for some, especially for somebody you don't even know, you know, um, these God beings, the, the, and, and God showed me, you know, the Buddhists are very much against love, right? Like, we're like, oh, love is better, or ex-Buddhists, ex I'm not a Buddhist, I have nothing to do with that. But I was very much there where I was like, love is a poison, love is an attachment, love is very bad, you know? And, and God's like, no, love is what makes you strong. Why would anybody do anything if it wasn't for love? I can do this for someone else because I love them madly, right? What can you do for if you don't love them, you know? Would you take would you take hours of torture, you know? Days of suffering if you don't love somebody, well, how can you do that, you know? Hallelujah. What are oh, God's wisdom. There's no other wisdom, right? So praise our king, praise our Lord. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.